Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali and today I'm going to be doing something very different on my channel. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make those highlight covers for your Instagram stories. They are super popular right now, especially in the blogger and influencer community. I've literally had this on my to-do list for so many weeks now and I just figured out how to do it and it's so easy. For this tutorial, I am going to be using Photoshop, um, so if you don't have that, it's really easy to download the free trial and just crank them out really quick before your trial ends. I'm positive that there are other ways to do this um, through other applications like Canva, I think that's what it's called. But since I am paying for Photoshop, I am going to use it today. This whole time I thought bloggers hired graphic designers to make them these little icons that are so simple, but I was just like, how do they do it? But I'm really excited because I found this website called Flat Icon and basically you can download all these icons for free so let's get started i'm going to start sharing my screen okay so this is the icon that i have made and i think it's really cute because it fits my blog's brand and what i mean by brand is it's kind of like with the same colors as what's on my blog so this background color is the header of my blog and if you don't know the exact color the easiest way to get the color is to take a screenshot of your blog so we can go all the way to Safari, then go to your blog. By the way, check my blog out if you haven't already. And then what you can do is screenshot whatever color you want. So how to screenshot on a Mac is Command-Shift-4. Then you can just drag it and screenshot it. Then take it into Photoshop, open up Binder, and then you can just drag it onto your um your project and then what you want to do is go all the way down to colors and then you can just use the color picker to find out what color it is i will say it's more accurate when you go to the color picker instead of the color libraries for some reason it just is more accurate so definitely use the color picker and you will have the exact color then you can just delete that right away and then fill your background. So don't worry, we're gonna do it all from scratch. So let's go to File, New. And I already have like a saved template. It's actually called Snapchat Filter because Snapchat filters and Instagram stories are the same dimensions. Definitely take a screenshot or whatever of the dimensions right here. So it's 1080 by 1920, and you would just do it with pixels. And if you wanted to, you can do it transparent, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm just gonna keep it white. So since I already have that color picked out, I'm just going to take the paint bucket and paint that background layer. And then we're going to go to a new layer all the way down here, create a new layer. And then the first thing you want to do is just kind of map out the area. So you want to go to the shape tool down here. Right now it's online, but you're going to pick the ellipse tool. And to get the perfect circle, you're going to hold the shift button down first and then click and drag the circle. So then this box pops up and then you can um, kind of just play around with the width of the circle you want. And this is just going to be like the circle around your icon. I personally like the look of this, but you don't need it because it's already going to be a circle. Um, but if you don't need it, still do this step because it's really helpful to see where your icon needs to go and if it will even fit in the circle. So um, I'm going to make it a little bit thinner. Okay, so I'm gonna do 5.71. I feel like that looks like a good width. And then I'm just gonna make it all white. So before we wanna move it around a little bit, we're gonna make sure Snap to Grid is on. So go to Help, type in Grid, and so you can see that everything's checked and we are all good. Um, and this really just helps, like, you see those pink lines appearing. So we're gonna make sure that the middle this way is aligned and the middle this way is aligned, and that's perfect. So like I said, if you don't want this white circle, you can always go down to the layers and press the eye tool and it can just disappear that easily or it can come back that easily. So now we're actually going to get into the icons part. So the next one I want to do is food and I know exactly what I'm going to do. It's going to be sushi. So I'm just going to type that in really quick. Make sure you're on the selection and not all because, you know, it's going to be sad if you find an icon and it's premium and you can't get it. So we're going to just take a look in here and see if there's any cute ones that I like. 
I do like this one, so I'm going to save it to my collection. You just click this button right here, and bam, I think it just like saves it on your profile so you can go back to it. Okay, this kind of looks cute. So we're going to press the I tool and open it up so we can see it. So as you can see up here, it has like all these different um, looks to it. I'm actually going to take the colored one and we're going to go to edit icon. And this is what I was talking about. You could actually change the colors of this. And this is where it gets a little tricky. So just keep up with me. Um, so we're going to go back to Photoshop and we're going to go and click on the color down here, the color box. The color that it's on right now is the color of my brand. So then we're going to go to color libraries and this is what I said like oh don't use this because it's not accurate but this is where you're going to be able to see like what are the other colors that kind of go with that color. Um, let's see. So you see all these browns and kind of like beiges. So anytime you find like a color that you think would be a good fit for let's say the sushi roll, maybe I can make the darker parts this darker brown or like the lighter parts this lighter brown. Um, so you're gonna click on that, go back to picker, and then copy and paste this number down here. This BC6225 number. Then you're gonna go back to the flat icon website and you see this number box right here you're just going to paste that in and bam that's the color um that is like similar to your brand's color so i think it's really cool that you can customize the icon to whatever you want um but i'm gonna like fast forward through this because since i've already explained it it's a lot of tweaking so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that So I'm done tweaking it. So I'm gonna go over to download and I'm gonna download it as a PNG because that's really all I know. And then I'm gonna download it as 512 pixels. And it's just gonna go straight to my downloads. I'll go to Photoshop and then click on Finder and it'll be in your downloads folder. So what I'm gonna do is hold shift and drag the little arrow thing down and just try to fit it in the circle. I'm ready to export it. So we're gonna do file, save. I'm gonna save it as a PNG to my desktop and name it Sushi Highlight. Fun fact, I literally never name anything that I save in Photoshop. I'm just doing it for you guys to be more professional. So then what I do is just airdrop that to my phone. So if you have the new update, to turn on your airdrop, you just have to press your Wi-Fi thing and hold it down, and then your airdrop's right over here. And just make sure that's on. Um, and then Sushi Highlight. So then you're just going to pull over the PNG to the airdrop section in your Finder folder. And then that's me. Bam. It looks so good. Yay! So now that you guys have that image on your phone, and you've already airdropped it, you can open up your Instagram stories and add it to your stories. Um, what's really cool about this is that it's going to crop that circle so you can explain why you chose that icon. So I'm just going to write something kind of funny really quick. So I'm just going to stick that in the corner up here. And then when it crops it, it's not going to see that text. So go ahead and add it to your story and then go to that specific story and you'll see that there's a highlight button at the bottom. So you're going to press that and then we're going to just name this category. So I'm just going to name it foodie for now. Press add, view on profile. And then to add the highlights to that category, you're going to press foodie and press more, edit highlight then go to archive and then you can see all the stories you have posted before. So um, I'm going to go ahead and add this sushi one. That's surprising. I took that like two days ago. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add that poll. I think that would be fun. Let's see what other food stuff I have. Hmm. Oh, definitely my story about corn nuggets that has to go on 
So then I'm going to click done. And now you can watch all my food journeys on my Instagram page, which is really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if I should do any other tutorials on literally anything. I want to do more like Final Cut or like how to edit or how to edit my pictures, just like anything like that. Just let me know in the comments down below what you guys are interested in learning about. Don't forget to check out my Instagram story highlights and follow me on Instagram. And if you guys use this tutorial to help make your icons for your highlights, then please DM me your profiles because I would love to see what y'all's pages look like. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! <laughs>